Here's a question for you. How good are you at solving your own problems? If you'll think about it a minute, you'll realize that living well and successfully is really a matter of being able to solve or overcome the problems which are as much a part of living as breathing. But of one thing you can be sure, few people realize that they have within themselves far more problem-solving potential than they ever use. Now let's say you have a problem. Chances are you have several problems. The first thing to remember is that to solve a problem it must be defined and that we should only take one problem at a time. So take your biggest problem and define it. Sit down and on a sheet of paper write as complete a description of the problem as you can. Just spelling it out has a way of diminishing it. We're most afraid of that which we can't see and when we see our problem written out it never looks quite as tough. The next step is to break down the problem into details and don't confuse facts with opinions. Make sure you know what you're talking about and that the problem is as real as you think it is. Now list possible solutions. No matter how crazy they may appear, write down as many possible solutions as you can think of. Then talk the problem through with someone you respect and admire and whose opinion you value. If this does not result in the solving of the problem, begin collecting data about it as much as you possibly can. Study everything you can lay your hands on which pertains to this particular problem. And all the time, know that the problem has a solution and that you are perfectly capable of finding it. Then just before you go to sleep at night, read over all the material you've written out about the problem and go over in your mind the list you've made of the possible solutions. Then relax and let your mind go to work on it. Not your conscious mind, but your subconscious or unconscious mind. Set your alarm clock to wake you up an hour earlier than you usually get up. And get up, get yourself a cup of coffee if you want it, and sit down to a sheet of paper and try to come up with 20 ideas which might solve your problem. By doing this and turning the problem over and over again in your mind, and by letting it incubate while you're asleep and while you're going about your daily work, one fine day when you least expect it, while you're taking a shower or on the way to work or just sitting around the house, the solution will burst into your mind, or rather it will slip in, quietly and without fanfare, and you'll sit up startled that the problem is solved. You'll usually find that the solution is so common sense, so plain, so simple and perfect, you'll wonder why you didn't think of it before. But there is one secret to success in this sort of thing that is vitally important. Whenever you think of your problem, think of it as only waiting to be solved, and know that you will get the solution. Don't worry about the problem or be afraid of it. This will only keep you awake, hurt your digestion, and in general, run you down. Face your problem with faith and bend every effort to solve it. And solve it, you will. Then go on to the next one. And each time you solve a new problem, the solution to the next one will be just that much easier. Try this and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the results. Each of us has a tendency to underestimate our own abilities. We should realize that we have, deep within ourselves, a reservoir of genius that can be tapped if we'll just dig deep enough.